The way our crews are set up, we have uh, a cameraman, a sound man, a camera assistant, and a director for each crew. And there's generally four crews a day. We cover the house 24 hours a day. So there'll be two directors with two crews on a day shift. And wherever the, um, wherever the cast goes, wherever the roommates decide to go to, we go. Uh, and if we're out on location, uh, they wear headsets, and the director has a walkie-talkie. And he kind of just follows behind. We try to be... You know, we don't, we, we try to be a fly on the wall and not be really, you know, in their face. This is the door to heaven. Ah, this is the infamous confessional where we sit and reveal all our thoughts, make fun of everybody in the house, epiphanies, everything. We talk about life in this seat. We have our beautiful, uh, you know, swirly background with the fluorescent lights. My only problem with sitting in this chair is that I'm such a midget. I always have to kneel because the microphone never reaches me. But this is where we reveal all our problems, all our thoughts, feelings on the house, who's being it, you know, who's full of BS, who we love, who we hate, who we want to get to know a little bit better. That's the room. This is the confessional. If I could change something about it, I would turn the cameras yes. on the cameras which means that I would show the 30% of this experience that is like the eighth roommate. The cameras are the eighth roommate because they, in themselves, change the, the dynamic like a ripple throughout the entire group. I think everyone should get a chance to do. You look at yourself for the first time the way everybody else sees you. From the littlest things like hand gestures, the way you talk, uh, facial expressions, and you never see that stuff. And uh, it's just the way you think, the way you vocalize things, and it's a harsh mirror. It's something that you don't necessarily really want to see. But um, I mean, you can't do anything but grow from that. Oh, we even have a fishing hole. I had, this is just, everybody loves this, and we can't figure out why. We, we're not really sure why. And people make such a big deal that there are lights under the pier. And we still can't figure why either, so. But that's our fishing hole. Someone caught a starfish in it once. Oh, jeez. You know, there, well, there's one specific situation that I think was the most challenging for me, and um, I learned, uh, a family, a, basically a family member, you know, it committed suicide while I was here. And that was the most difficult thing um, that I had to deal with here, especially because I had um, this person, Bill, he was part of our family. What's up? I'm Nathan. You're listening to Dead Air on 107.7 VN. This week I decided to slap my ears on the two Skinny J's and their new long-awaited major label debut titled Super Mikado, something like that. I think it uh, definitely has its soap opera qualities. I mean, we often call it a docu-soap because it is a soap opera unfolding. These people's lives are unfolding in front of us and we're documenting them. Our, our, our toys for a while. Our toy? Yeah, my toy. Well, Linda's kind of...